Hey, what's going on, crew? Welcome back to the Flint Hills Roleplay Series. That's right. We've got a corn harvest. Look at the corn. She's good to go. Of course, guys, that means we need to buy some equipment because, well, we're a little lacking in that department. But we got a few new toys down of that away. However, I am trying to get rid of some other stuff. You know, just putting it out there, even against some of your ideas. But we'll see what happens with that. It may happen. It may not. I have no idea. Uh, for now, though, we've got some corn harvesting to do. I've got to go pick up a combine. I'll show you the new equipment we've bought. And can I get somebody... Gertie, come clean this yard up. Look at this. It's absolutely disastrous in here. This is disgusting. But whatever. We don't got, we don't got time for that right now. Let's get back to work. Let's go buy a harvester, shall we? Bitter patter. <laughs> Folks, I've got this combine already purchased. It's just at well, it's second hand down at another farm just down the block here. Uh, a farm, you know what? Just towards town, to be honest with you. I'll talk about what we've got here. There's some new equipment we've got. Let me talk about this later on. I'll show you what we picked up. I got some new pieces here, but we've got to go pick up this combine and header, and we really need to get work to work here because it is uh, well, it's it's time. Oh, there she is. Yeah, I don't think many were expecting this. You know what? I was, in all honesty, looking for a John Deere. Um, if I was going to buy new, I was looking at a bunch of the new John Deere stuff. I couldn't find something right now. Uh, there's some issues with production at the shop. They weren't getting a lot of product in. So, well, instead, I found something used that I will at least use for this season. Maybe sell off. We'll see how this works out. We got a Gleaner R75. So, folks, it is a used model, like I said. So we got a pretty good deal for this, the header and the trailer. I think 175 all in for all of these. You know, a decent price for this. Probably about, uh, you know, a half a million dollars brand new. It's a few years old. She's got a few hundred hours on it. So it's not like it's uh, it's all that bad. From what we can tell in the mechanical, look like she's all good, guys. So we're going to get this back to the shop right now. Um, change some fluids on it because I don't know last time it was done. He doesn't remember. We'll see if uh, we can get that all changed up. Let's jump on inside. Let me show you around. So this was fully loaded for the most part as well. Uh, it's got well, a GPS unit, of course. If you saw on top, we got the extension tank on top. So this will hold something around the 14 to 15,000 liters, I believe it was, he said. Uh, I can't remember the exact specs on that. But I mean, relatively full featured combine. And of course, you notice the duels outside. And it's the bigger of the two. I believe there's the 75 as well, or 65 and the 75. We've got this one here is the 75. A little more horsepower. I think we're pushing around 400 horses out of this bad boy. Because it's bad boy for life. So that is all right. Uh, a lot of lighting up on top. I mean, look at all those spotlights up there. That's sweet. And of course, well, we've got a corn header. We only have corn, so that's good because that's all we're, we're harvesting this year is just corn. So uh, a row crop header, that's perfect. An old trailer that has seen better days, but um, that's a big trailer for that little header. But hey, what do you, what do, you do, right? I guess we should get going. Um, Gertie, are you good? Yep. Nope. Oh, okay. I, I guess you're good to bring the truck back. Let's jump in the combine. Let's go for a rip. All right. Off we go. The only difference with this, I find, is the way that pipe comes out on this. Well, uh, we'll get it back to the shop and I'll show you what I mean. It comes out of the side of the combine a little bit differently than kind of a traditional combine. It's, uh, it's not exactly the normal way, the way that thing rotates up and around. It looks a little bit funky. I don't want to spend too much time with this thing in the shop today, guys. I really want to get this out into the field as soon as possible. We've got this is the last piece. This is the last piece of the puzzle to get out into the field and uh, do some corn harvesting today here on Flint Hills. Uh, Gertie's going to probably give me a hand here. Maybe I'll let her drive the combine today. I think, yeah, we'll let her drive it for a bit. I think that'll be good. But uh, we'll get this thing back, quickly check our fluids. Maybe I won't even bother changing them out. Maybe we'll just fire this thing up and get out there. Maybe grease things up and then uh, and just fire her up. What do you think? All right, she looks looks pretty good. I'm actually happy. Checked everything that uh, I'm really worried about. Maybe had a few of those. But I think it's time to get into the field, folks. Uh, now, new, new, new equipment purchase. New equipment purchase. New Wilson trailer. Brand new. This is the only thing I've bought in this brand new ever. Brand, brand spanking new. Look at the color scheme on this bad boy. Um, the only problem is I need a truck now that's kind of color matched. The... It's, don't get me wrong, the International's nice, but it doesn't doesn't look anything compared to this. We need to upgrade this truck at some point, but uh, it's going to do for the harvest, that's for sure. And uh, this trailer, man, what a nice looking trailer. Hopefully we don't damage it too much before we get a new truck, so it kind of goes together. And of course, since we've got that, we also, well, we need a, we need a grain bin. We need an auger wagon of sorts as well. So we've got this Brent. This was used. You can see it's, it's kind of dinged up a little bit. It's not bad. It's still in decent shape. 
but a uh, pretty good deal on that thanks to it being uh well used and not brand spanking new i couldn't find a trailer around the county that was used so whatever we'll take what we can get here and uh this is going to be fine this is this, this auger wagon this is way more than i was ever anticipating again i mean the fact that we got we got duels on this about over 50 000 liter capacity something like that um this thing is absolutely massive but of course guys we never make that things that simple for ourselves do we I mean, our two tractors, we've got the 4960 and the 487, uh, 8970, I should say. I would love to pull that bin with the 8970. However, no PTO. We don't have a PTO on this bad boy. So, um, yeah, that's not going to work. I mean, we can use this to drag it around, I suppose, if we need to. But what else am I going to do with it? Unfortunately, we're kind of screwed there. So we're going to be stuck. The 89, or 4960, the two-wheel drive 4960 has got to pull that giant bin. I really hope it's up for the task because, I mean, it was such a good deal. I couldn't resist. I, I you know what? It's, let's not ask questions. Let's ask for forgiveness and rather than permission and hope this works out, shall we? Um, I got to move that out of the way first. Anyways, let's move the sprayer out. Let's get the 4960 fired up. Let's cross our fingers, shall we? All right, guys, it, uh, it's going to be close. I'm a little worried. I mean, it, we better make sure these fields are dry. Uh, there's no hills to deal with for the most part on any of the crops or any of the fields we're on, so uh, we should be okay as far as that goes. But it's just not a lot of horsepower we have here for the size of this bin. You know what? It'll it'll have to do, though. We don't really have a choice right now. I'm not buying another tractor. I really... I hope I'm not buying another tractor, I should say. Let's start with that. I hope I'm not buying another tractor. Oh, oh yeah, this, this'll be fine. <laughs> this'll be totally fine. This is fine. Um, well, what's the worst that could happen? Let's go. All right, hammer down. All right. Um, I can still steer. So, I mean, that's that's a positive. I was kind of expecting these front tires to start coming off the ground, to be honest with you. But so far, I think we're good. We got the duels on the rear. So it seems to be biting in enough. Uh, it's just a rock box in the front, though. There's, if I had a weight maybe up front, it might be a bit better. But it's not bad, considering. Okay, all right, all right, all right. You know what? I, I doubted, I doubted it. Um, and uh, I'm pleasantly surprised right now. All right, spinning around. Ooh, we're losing a little traction. Yikes. Um, let me see if I can back this up a little bit here. We'll just let's get this straightened out. All right, I think I think we're gonna be good. Um, I mean, there can't be any more problems, right? This is the last of our problems, I'm sure. Perfect. Let's go. Crank this over, hammer down, and let's go park this over by the field, shall we? But of, of course, we still do need to find a way to fit well the trailer here as well over there as long as well as the truck. And man, there's gonna be a lot of equipment just sitting in the middle of the road there. That's fine. We'll just take over that road. It's not. It's like a. It's just a rancher's road back there. There's nothing. There's nothing important back there. It's fine. It's totally fine. No one's gonna be mad at us. We'll just make sure there's enough for one lane to go by. But uh, let's see if we can get out of here now. This could be. The struggle down here trying to get out of here this is not fantastic this tight this tight barn find over here guys are a tight barn setup it is not easy to get these trucks out of as well as these harvesters when we're holding a trailer um she's a bit of a squeeze all the way through nice and easy and then spin it around oh boy yeah it's a tight fit come on spin it out all right hopefully gertie can do it as well come on gertie Power through there. You can do it. No, she just wrecked my brand new trailer. Oh, yeah, that's not great. She's just rubbing it right down the side of this. Gertie, you're killing me. This is brand new. Really? Is that necessary? Hopefully, they don't damage it too much before we get a new truck. I mean, I got it out once on my own. I don't know what her problem is. Ah, oh, man. So much for new. I guess we got the first scratch out of the way. All right, final checks. Um, these ditches are ridiculous. I almost rolled the thing trying to get the header onto it. We got our bin up there. We've got the uh, the truck had been down below there. Auger wagon's behind me. I think we're good to go, guys. But man, this is ridiculous. I almost literally flipped right here, just trying to line myself up. Let's see if we can get this thing out of here. It's it's not it's not great. We got to kind of well, nice and easy. Don't get that back tire to drop there. What I don't want to have happen is have that back tire drop because it's it's way too steep. And we almost literally lost it a second ago. 
Um, that'd be embarrassing. You don't even get into the field and all of a sudden you rolled your harvester. You're not even in there yet and you've already rolled it. Um, yeah, let's not do that. That's really not. All right, we're good. Uh, now you see what I mean by the pipe. Like watch this. The way this pipe rotates up and around, combines don't usually do it that way. Most of the new ones at least are more of a straight across. You can see where it comes down to the bottom there. So it comes out of the bottom of the bin, which instead of most of them now are kind of a little bit higher up the way it rotates in. So, uh, you know what? It seems to work okay. I just hope we don't get anything jammed down there, that's all. So I think, oh, I might have pushed the trailer into the ditch. Whoops. Um, I'm going to do the uh, the headland around here. We'll let Gertie take care of it later on. I want to get in here and, and see how this gleaner runs, though, to be honest with you. I get first dibs. First dib, dibs, dibs. Let's go. In we go, up and around. Corn inbound, folks. Nice. First harvest of the year here on Flint Hills. Love it. Um, guys, I don't know what's going on. I've broken something. Uh, it, it got a little bit, but it's having some difficult times getting anything up into that, tr up into the bin. I am not harvest. It's not harvesting. I'm, I'm literally, yeah, I'm not harvesting. We cannot seem to get this corn up. Um, huh. Well, that's a bit of an issue. Yeah, I don't know. We're going to have to take this back to the shop. Maybe, yeah, we'll look at the header, see if there's an issue with the header, but something's going on. We're not able to harvest right now. I'm getting all sorts of issues going on here. Um, yeah, look at this. We're going to end up crushing more than we got into the bin. What did we get into the bin even? Was there anything in there? Yeah, not really. Not Nothing going into the bin even. Something's not working right, guys. Let's take this back to the shop, and I'll see if I can mess around with this for a bit. We'll see if we can fix this thing up. All right, guys, we found an issue. It needed a bit more work done to the header, but it's still... It doesn't want to fix anything. I can't get it to grab the straw. It's not a straw, the corn, and it's not feeding it into the trough. So there's something wrong with this header. I cannot get this header to work. I've got uh, I've got a, a loaner coming down to the shop right now. We've got a Capello header coming that we're going to throw on this thing. Hopefully that solves our issue. I don't know yet, guys. I'm at a bit of a loss here. We can't get this Gleaner header to work, unfortunately. Um, I might give the original owner a call and just see what the heck's going on, but... It's, uh, it's a no-go. It's not grabbing any corn for me. I gotta pull this thing all apart. Maybe we'll worry about that later on. But for now, I need a header going. I need to get this thing up and running. I need to get into this field and do some corn harvesting. So, uh, man, what a pain in the keister. Oh, guys, I'm really wondering if we got ripped off on this thing. <sighs> he won't answer my phone calls. He won't answer my phone calls to find out what's going on with this. And it's not going to voicemail or anything. I uh, just took my money and ran. It's starting to seem like I, I don't really like where we're going with this. Anyways, we've got our backup. Unfortunately, this header alone costs a little over a third, almost half, what we all paid for the whole system here, which is kind of ridiculous. Oh, but I mean, what are you going to do, right? It's too late now. We, we need to get into harvest season. So um, I think everything seems to be working on this. We're going to find out if there's a combine issue here or if it was a header issue right away, guys. I really hope this thing works. Oh, please work. Please work. Please work. Let's fire it up. Like, everything seems to be working, as you'd expect. It's just, for some reason, that other header would not, was, was not picking up corn for us. This seems to be? Uh, yeah, it's, it was a header issue for sure, guys. Look at that. Yeah, we're getting corn in the bound now. Oh, I can't believe that header is bunk. We got... I don't even want to do with that now. Uh, I found a few more issues on it earlier when I was looking around. It's not looking good, guys. I don't know if we can salvage that thing. I can't even blame that on Gertie. I was, good thing I didn't let her drive first, right? Otherwise, uh, she would have been thinking for sure. I would have blamed it on her. But anyways, we're good. We're good now. But what a pain. That is totally unfortunate. So, we got to figure out exactly what we're going to do with that header situation for now. I'm going to use this Capello. This is not the worst thing in the world. This is a nice header for sure. Um, and as well, guys, it folds up so I don't need to worry about trailering it as much which is fantastic first headland is uh, almost done the bin looks like it's gonna be full i hope i don't get any cab corn here i want to get around this corner get up to the bin that is the goal right now and i think we should be okay if i don't miss a bunch i think we're good i think we are good all right final test for the 4960 uh we need to get it into the field now with the bin uh let's see if we get back this thing up we're just going to back it straight. There's no room to turn around anywhere around here, so I've got to just kind of back it up. I don't dare go through the ditch with it. If I had, if I had the 8970, 
Yeah, if we had that, uh, the 870, I would go through the ditch with this. I just don't dare go through the ditch with a little two-wheel drive tractor with this bin. It is way too big. It's just, there's way too much that could go wrong right now. Um, considering we've broken enough things already today, I think, uh, I think I need to take her easy here and try not to break anymore. Uh, this header looks like it's going to fall into the ditch as is. Look at this. Get around. Get around. All right. And then crank her over. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Not that hard. You forget that those rear tires articulate on this, on this trailer. <laughs> it makes it turns a lot sharper than you expect it will. There we go. Now we can crank her a bit. Perfect. All right. From here, guys, we should be good just to go drive up beside and uh, unload. Let's go. Nice and easy. Nice and easy. Oh, man, I'm having a little bit of a time trying to steer at the front tires. They're not biting in as much as if I had four-wheel drive, I don't think. I think that is really where we're kind of our shortfall right now is trying to steer. Oh, man, I cranked that way too late. If I can straighten this out and get it back just a touch. There we go. Now we should be good. Ah, there we go. It's a bit of a fight. I think we'll be good once we're onto a straight stretch. We should be fine then. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Um, yeah, guys, it's going to work. It's just, this is, you know what? It's the first harvest. We'll give, give you have to give a guy a break, right? We're, we're figuring things out here still on, on, uh, on Flint Hills. We got all new equipment. Let's see if I can get up on top here. Take a look. Uh, things are starting to come together, but man, it's been a struggle today between, well, tractors, bins, and harvesters trying to figure out what we're going to need. But I think, I think that things are finally starting to come together here now. Um, I really hope so, at least. All right. That are on in. We can just dive into this field and really go to town now. It's just a lot of harvesting. A lot of harvesting starts to happen now. Now that we're set up, guys, we should be good, right? I sure hope so. Anyways, folks, that there is going to do it for us today here from Flint Hills. I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. Folks, you know what I got to say. If you enjoyed it, drop that like. Slap the like. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done so already. And, folks, I'm going to catch you next time. This is Clutch from Flint Hills. Over and out. Mm -hmm.